Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another video for 13 Nights of Halloween, because it's starting up again. Funny enough, this is technically the first video being recorded for it, but I have absolutely no idea when it's going to be showing up. But today's guest for 13 Nights of Halloween is... Full name, Gaming Quitta, but from this point on, I will only be calling him Quitta, <laughs> and not the, the full name. <laughs> Say hello! Hello everyone, um, uh, I'm honored to be here on your channel. Yeah, it's great that I was able to get you in here. If people don't know, uh, if people just don't know, I know you from the Dragalia side of it. I've never done anything else with, uh, except for D3, but he's a more in general all gaming thing, and I guess Zenrod too. Point is, in terms of Dragalia, Dragalia people who are focused on Dragalia, I've never done a full thing with a Dragalia person. And now that the game is going down, what a better time to start <laughs> than before it goes. Am I right? Yes, absolutely right. I mean, we we did like one video like two like one year ago, like yeah, where man. I asked you to 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 just record memories. That was a fun thing. That was a great video. Yeah, I loved being a part of that. That was also the first time I was ever asked by someone else. So that's not like I was asking people, but also no one was asking me until that exact point. So <laughs> I mean, I'm, perfect... I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes a little shy, so so I get it. No. I, I, yeah, I get you that. get it. But what are we doing here, Dragalia-related related for Halloween? Well, of course, we're going to be uh, ranking here on a tier list all the Halloween-esque costumes that are in Dragalia, and we're going to put them into a scientific tier list here that I have right here. We have Maximum Spooky at the top. we got Spooky as Hell, Spooky as Heck, Not Spooky, and then below Not Spooky is Thanksgiving. That's someone who has 100% failed the assignment of trying to be anything Halloween related and is at the bottom of everything. And I also uh, have one for dragons, so when we go over there, we'll also look at them. As, as someone who, who doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving here over here in Germany, every story I hear of Thanksgiving is extremely spooky, but uh, I, I, I get your ranking system anyway. <laughs> no, it's a, Thanksgiving is a very spooky time. Filled yeah. with nothing but eating of meats. I'm the, also the only American person who absolutely hates Thanksgiving. <laughs> but oh, I also okay. Think it's, but I also think it's because I celebrated it weird for many years. But anyway, that's a, for a different when okay. we do Thanksgiving-related uh, yeah, things. We'll go there. <laughs> but let's start with, uh, of it's... course, the first unit that was over. We're going to start with the Halloween units. And then if we think of any other Halloween-esque costume of someone else, we will gladly put them on there. But we'll start with the first five-star Halloween Yes. Halloween Ellie. So. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is spooky, but not in the sense of like, I'm scared spooky, but more like I'm afraid of what this outfit is doing to me spooky. Now hear me out. When she oh, released, she was with the worm print banner, and that's obviously maximum ooh. spooky. There's that nothing is... more spooky than Dragalia in the worm print banner era. <laughs> That is absolutely correct. I, I, I've got her in the second tier, I think, so uh, I because I remember spending everything on that banner and only getting the worm print. Uh, I think it was Trick or Treats. So yeah. I got yeah. the other, I got an unfeatured five star from that one, so I didn't even get the right to say oh. I got a five star Halloween one. Oh, that hurts. Um, yeah. But your reasoning uh, combined with my reasoning actually does make her maximum spooky. I, I do agree there. I do agree. Yeah, I think for that reason alone, she is the very first one. Her design, very nice. She also seemed very hesitant when wearing it, but obviously she lo absolutely loved every second of it. That's what I, my interpretation of the character in her out outfit there, and that's the way I'm going to take it. So I think maximum spooky works for her. If it was not for the uh, gotcha rates at the beginning, I'd say she would fit comfortably as spooky as heck. It is a very spooky Halloween-esque costume, but maybe more on the heck side than it is on the hell side. But with that banner... With the banner, maximum it's uh, absolutely maximum spooky. Mass maximum spooks. That's the way I'm going yes. for. Yes. And, and now let's talk about the second Halloween five star, Halloween Mim, because she's right here, and it's very easy for me to find her on the list here because she's <laughs> up top. So, yeah, how are we gonna? This one's a little bit tough because I don't, um, you know, I am obviously a have an extreme bias towards Mim. Uh, I don't know if she really is maximum spooky. I think she could fit somewhere in spooky as hell or spooky as heck. What do you think? Um, her out. I love her outfit. It's amazing. It fits her perfectly. But 
um, the skill animation for her skill one takes forever. Like, and 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 the, the, the annoying thing is the buff starts right at the beginning and not at the end, so she, she herself loses out on her own buff, and that right. is pretty spooky. So I would personally say spooky as hell. You know what? I completely forgot. You're right. She is a, also an old axe unit before they started making them good. <laughs> yes, that is also the problem. I mean, it, I still love playing it. I'm pretty sure yeah. I even brought it walk, um, but it's. It's it's really sad that it's just a skill animation it takes so super long. Yeah, it, it does take an extremely long time. You're right about that one. It is a very good animation, though. Yes. Uh, I also forgot to mention, this is important for Ellie. She also, on the English side, says, Yeah! Every single time as Halloween Ellie, which also, I think, puts her a point for Halloween Spooky. True, <laughs> so maybe... true. Uh, like, when, you, when you do force strikes, right? She's just yeah. screaming all the time. It, it, it's literally just, Yeah! Yeah, over and over and over again, nonstop. It's maybe it's my second favorite voice sample next to the entirety of K- K- Katrina. That's her name, right? The uh, pirate former debutante. Oh, it's been a while since I played her. I never really played her yeah. much because the, the one uh, the, re- the 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 reason that we got the uh, the mana spirals they where they were because she kind of broke them all. It's I'm pretty sure it's Karina or Katrina. Karina, yeah, it's Karina. Karina, yes. yes. Karina has my favorite voice samples because of her accent as a in, in English that is as a pirate. It's my absolute favorite. I, 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 I do agree. She, she does have really nice uh, voice lines, but, and I'm going to build an amazing pitch here, um, Halloween Althemia has some of the cutest, like, she's right there in the, uh, the, uh, at the bottom in the middle. She has right some extremely cute voice lines. Um, I would actually just put her into Not Spooky because she's just adorable as heck, but she's, she's she is adorable. adorable. She's also the reason that all the costumes were made, right? If I'm remembering my lore correctly on this one. Yes, she's the one who sued it, I think. Yeah, it's been a very long time since way back then, but I'm pretty sure she was the one who sewed all those costumes together. So yes. I think... Uh, not spooky. I, not works. spooky. Funny story, I actually uh, tried to main her for quite a while, but she was just... I think even on release, she wasn't really good because Hildegard was the thing. So that yeah. made her even less spooky. Yeah, even less spooky when you factor in those things. Also, oh, didn't oh, she eventually get, like, a buff that made her... I remember a lot of people were using her post-buff, but I couldn't tell if it was because it's one of those things where it's like, they found, like, some kind of secret strat with her ability to gain a bunch of attack when she was... Her health was at maximum, or if it was just, like, I was being trolled in some in some cases. I wasn't sure. It's one of the two. I'm not too sure if it's because... Uh, of the of the buffs for the second anniversary, or mm. maybe the mana spiral. I'm, I don't remember. I just remember using her. But that's all. Mm. There. Also, another note, by the way, for for Halloween Alusan, which also makes her maximum spooky. She's the only character in mana spiral that got a change after uh, its release. That's like, right, she did. <laughs> no other mana spiral w- uh, got a a, a change uh, post post release. So that was uh, uh, interesting. Yeah, that was a terrifying time. I remember that. I remember when she first released and people were like, don't even bother Mana spiraling her. <laughs> it's not worth yes. it. Yes, because apparently she got worse. Yeah, she got worse. Uh, <laughs> she got so actively worse. Me. So yeah, that's so, terrifying. A buff that, is, that makes your character worse? That's yes. scary. <laughs> Maximum spooky on my side. I think that she's... <laughs> you were absolutely right to the decision, yeah. The more I think about it. The more she really, the more it feels like almost no one will compare to her. But we'll see when we get there. Yeah. Spooky as heck, not spooky as heck. But we're here to talk about Halloween Lewin. Uh, <laughs> I hmm. think he fits in there quite well because he would never say hell because he's a little <laughs> boy. Uh, he would always he's always say, "Ah, oh, I'm spooky as heck." So um, you already he... placed him perfectly, I think. I think you're right on that. It also does fit his character, because I think all his voice lines are like, I'm a spooky man. Hell yeah, <laughs> give me your candy. And then he heals you to full health. <laughs> it's an extremely yeah. terrifying experience. It's extremely amazing just how good he is. Like, I think even with Curse of Nihility, he was still an amazing healer. I, I, think he's, yeah, I don't think he, he was ever really replaced on fire. There was some, I think they eventually released one that was better. 
but he was still really I mean, good. I'm trying to see if I can uh, find them on here. But it, uh, Yaha and Otoa is the healers. They were, of course, way, way better. The twins. Oh, um, yes, the twins. Yes, they were. They were. So they were absolutely busted. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I think he's, he's all right there. Yeah. Man, the legacy. And then his, his, his buff was so good, it made the... Uh, him, him base form was so good that when they buffed the other Lewin, he made him even better because they had to do the exact same thing again. <laughs> yes. Oh, where did and, he go? Did I accidentally put him somewhere I can't find him? <laughs> where, I don't know. Uh, base, base Lewin? No, not Base Lewin. I put um, the butler. I had found him, and then I put oh, him... Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. All right. What was his right. name? Uh, something. Edward? Edward. Yes, right. Yes. Another one of the many Dragalia characters that did not get very much spotlight outside of this one event, really. Uh, he uh, was in some castle stories, I think. I okay, think so, he was, but... So I have a, pro a proposal for this one. Mm -hmm. He's he's a vampire in his costume, right? That's correct. He's called Edward. Mm -hmm. That absolutely makes him maximum spooky because that's just the Twilight guy. Mm. Is Twilight terrifying to the mortal soul? Yeah. How do you feel? I mean, he doesn't sparkle. He doesn't how, sparkle. How, how many uh, uh, movies of Twilight have you watched? I've seen one, and I fell asleep mm. during it. Mm. Fair <laughs> enough. Did you know that there is a Civil War vampire in uh, Twilight? He shows up in the third one. Well, he's in the first one, but he doesn't get his backstory until the third one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he's a really, uh, spooky guy. He has a, they have a, like, there's, like, a bit in the movie where it just turns into a better movie, where they talk about a Civil War vampire, and I was like, damn, this is awesome, and then went back to the actual Twilight. So I agree uh, that I think he deserves to be maximum spooky, because they jump-scared <laughs> me with a better movie in the middle. Oh, no, I, I, I just did a favor, um, of my, for my girlfriend way back then, and, um, was like, oh. okay, I'm gonna watch this with you, and I, I, I'm so sorry. I mean, she wasn't even mad because she also didn't really like it. But I am not shaming anyone who likes it. Uh, I want to make that disclaimer. If you like the Twilight movies, you do you. That is totally fine. Yeah, do you. I, just... I didn't have a, a girl. I don't have that excuse. I just watched them on my own free will <laughs> because I like bad movies. That's also totally fine. <laughs> Watching bad movies is um is, is a fun activity to do. Yeah. And there's a lot of bad horror ones, let me tell you. But let's move on. Mm. Now we're, we're, this is uh, a dude so scarifying. He doesn't he doesn't even rank here. He's not on here. It's Halloween Prince. Do oh. you remember when they gave us yeah. Halloween Prince and they did not release a Halloween Prince? Yes, I am still mad because of that because it looked awesome. It was one of my favorite outfits in the game. Maybe I mean, one of the best outfits the prince has ever had. Yes. Never used again. It was so sad. That was it so absolutely sad. was. Yes. Where do you think now? Visualize him as the Halloween version of him. Where do you think he fits in here? I mean, because we never got him, I would say he's spooky as hell. But we can put him into maximum spooky because he was not playable. Mm, he's a ghost. Also, yes. would fit putting him right next to Mim as well. Also, that she would love having him there. Exactly where he belongs. <laughs> Right next to her. All right, let's see. We've got plenty more here. I need to find them on here. It's tough when uh, there's so many characters. You re really, when you look at this, you realize how many characters were in Dragalia. It was just yes. a lot, <laughs> an insane amount of them. Weird. And I mean, this is these are just the characters that the dragons don't even factor in here. No, the dragons have their own separate page. Yeah. I need to find the Bacon Priestess. Um, she's she, there. She, she is, but uh, but then her outfit um, must be somewhere down here then. Uh, I only I only have eyes for Valentine's Chelsea. <laughs> well, we'll get to uh, her eventually when we talk about spooky characters that are not Halloween related. Oh, on the right, on the right, on the right with your mouse, there's Melsa. So, right next Where? to Ilya. Yeah, and, Wait, uh, what? Above, go go right, 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 and up. Ah, there she is. Yes, I see. oh, I see them both. Yes. Ah, okay. Let's, let's get them both up here. Did I move the wrong one? The answer is perhaps. Uh, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> where, where? You're the professional. I, I only see Melsa. Where did? It... Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll put her up here. Oh, in the I, I, I I saw Melsa at the end there. I can I can find her again. 
Okay, okay. Later. We'll put her. Did I move the wrong one? Oh my god. What is going on? Did I yeah, not miss you, you it again? No, there, there, you, there, you, there you, it is. There it is. Oops. Yes, yes. There we go. Okay. Oof. Okay. Kasha, here we go. What do we think with her? This was a very interesting year because this was the year I feel like they decided, everyone decided to dog on the Halloween units. That is true, yeah. Because they weren't, like, game-breaking or meta-changing. No, they weren't in any capacity at all. I think actively, up until they introduced uh, Trials of the Mighty to make it so that you wanted to have a water blade, she had actively no purpose on yeah, anything. She looks so good, though. She does look extremely good. That was the thing that made me so angry that I kept using her. Is that she looks fantastic. This outfit was fantastic. But the unit itself, absolutely terrible. Just yeah, not like, very good. Yeah, like, just reducing defense by 3% is not a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then give give some bleed, I think, is also what she did. Yeah, yeah, she, she does bleed. So, mm. because she wasn't that good, I wouldn't put her too spooky, honestly. Um, thinking not spooky? I, I'm thinking not spooky, because when I look at her, I mean, yeah, she's she, 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 she's a, she's an attractive lady, uh, to say it's civilized, but... <laughs> I, I don't feel the, the spook here. No, I don't. Not the vice. Which is funny because she has the entire thing of having the outer gods to her, and yet she is not that scary in this outfit. No, absolutely not. I mean, yeah, her like her backstory and all super spooky, but um, yeah, this this isn't. Yeah, the the outfit itself. No, I think not. Not spooky fits for her. Now, where did I miss? There she is. Okay. There she is. Yeah. All right. Halloween Mel Elsa. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Halloween Melsa, I feel like, had a slight, tiny comeback when people realized that when shared skills were a thing, and they realized that her shared skill was actually pretty good. Because yes. I think it lowered resistances, right? Yes, it lowered uh, poison resistance. Yeah, that's for pretty... 30 seconds. Yeah, and that's pretty nice. <laughs> it eventually yeah. turned out to be pretty nice. Yes, especially because you could like also use it on shadow units, so... Um... It is a good, it is a good, uh, it was extremely good for Delphi, I think. I th I feel like I used the shared skill on Delphi. Yeah, that so, would make sense. That would make sense for sure. So the thing with her is, her outfit is cute and all, it's not that spooky. Her mm -hmm. her story was really good. Um, But what makes her super spooky, not maximum spooky, but spooky as hell, is the fact that there's a Halloween's Reese in the back, and we never got that. Oh, you right, there were! That's right. She had Halloween. That that that's another reason why people were maybe dogging this because this was the the Halloween of units we never got other units for the prince, the, the yes. one in her background. Just not. It's similar to the when they released the kimono units and they gave us a kimono mim art, but never Ooh. released a kimono mim or or wedding mim for that matter. Yeah, that too. Oh god, that the. That also burns. <laughs> I'll go get sad if I'll get talking about it. But I think Spooky's oh, Hell makes sense. She also has yeah. like a revive thing with her zombie stuff. Mm -hmm. Very zombie-esque. Unfortunately, yeah. that was the reason she was bad, is because no one ever used that skill. Yeah, exactly. Because like a skill that depends on you failing isn't really a useful skill. Yeah, and then also a skill that does not work in a vast majority of events because of the... You die once and then it's over, and they don't count that. <laughs> All right, the last two Halloween units, I believe. Let me put them on the side oh, here I so I can. I forgot about uh, th th thingy guy. Um, yeah, the, the 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 bro. Oh, I can just go like this. I'm I, dumb. I'm completely forgetting his name right now. I'm forgetting him too, but I remember him being a battery of some kind of <laughs> facilitating plays. <laughs> That's really all I really remember him as. Also, he's Lucas's bro. Not actual yeah. brother. He's yes. like a, 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 like a, like a friend. Silas, 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 Silas. I think something Silas. like that. It was Silas. Silas. So there we go. Silas. He's playing the role of Frankenstein, as obviously she's playing the, uh, the monster aspect of it. So I don't know how spooky do you find a Frankenstein, the the scientist, the man, not the monster. Uh, yeah. Um. I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record because I'm just repeating myself. Silas himself, eh, not that spooky. But there's a Maid Laranoa in the back. <laughs> and I hate that we never got that. 
<laughs> that is pretty bad. Let me see. Is that enough to put him into spooky as hell with the other? Oh, like, at this point, nah, this is becoming hack. the. He like heck? just hack because. Okay. Because this the, was the about outfit. to become the the island of misfit of <laughs> unit <laughs> Halloween units we never got. I mean, you decide. It's uh, if if, if uh, it is pretty spooky that there's like a dead boy on the on the on the on the thingy. I don't know the English mm-hmm. word for it. On the art. Yeah, like on the table, operating table, operating Oper- table. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah, word. operating table. Yeah, yeah. On the slab, as they say it in uh, Rocky ah. Horror Picture Show. Check, oh. check what's on the slab. Oh. I haven't seen it in... I think I only saw it once as a kid. Uh, yeah, that's the perfect time to watch it. Obviously, when you're growing up as an impressionable child, <laughs> you learn a lot. <laughs> it totally didn't harm me in any capacity, I think. Nah, you're just like, that meatloaf song is sick. Hop cootie, <laughs> bless my soul indeed. <laughs> uh... But spooky as okay. heck works for me. Next. Yeah, yeah, same. The bride here. Does she have any characters in her art? As we um, the full... She has Scyllas in the back, so. Mm, not the same. And... We got Scyllas, so we're good yeah. here. I cannot remember the android for the life of me. I cannot remember her name at the moment. Uh, Laxi and her Laxie. brother's Masculo. Yes. There we go. Laxi. Okay, Halloween Laxi. This was... If there was a uh, uh, another tier list, which was a, the, the most fun Halloween unit, I might actually put her on there <laughs> because she was maybe <laughs> the the best one we ever got. I think when you consider it's, everything all together, she was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, she was so much fun to play. Like I love playing her. Yes, just nonstop rolling around. She she was like the best aspects of Mana Casters, and then in a new twist as well. It was great. Yeah. And also extremely limited, which is not fun for anyone else that wanted her, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, did, I feel... Mm. Did you ever get reruns of her? I don't know, but that was pretty crazy. Did you ever we, get we a must have gotten, like, Did we ever get a rerun of her? We must have. Uh, maybe sure they've, been, they've been doing a lot of reruns now, but I don't think we ever actually got... No, she had to show up in the... Remember when they did those banners where it was like you get a hundred free summons on it or something. I think she was on those banners, but never one where she was directly featured. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But you're right. She never was. They made the most fun Halloween unit, and then they barely ran her. I think that only is fitting. (gasps) Yes. For Uh, Max and Spooky. Yes, that is absolutely true. I mean, maybe they did rerun her, but I didn't. I just didn't see it because, and also it was probably after end of service announcement, so. Yeah, uh, yeah, there was a there was a giant black hole in terms of news from Dragalia that kind of like outshined the others, so it's very hard to remember what yeah. specifically got rerun and stuff like that. <laughs> I feel you on that, but I think that is it for the base form Halloween dudes. But thankfully, yeah. there is a little bit more dudes wearing some costumes. Uh, yeah, like um, Renzel. Uh, Renzel had like a a costume in a worm print, I think. He did him and um, Lucas. So, yeah, him and Lucas were in the first, I, which is funny because I think it's a reference to um, fucking uh, uh, George. What is the name of the Count the Rabbits? Do you know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. Oh come on, Lenny of Mice and Men. There we go. I had to remember the character's name was Lenny, and then it, it brought back to me of Mice and Men. Fan- I don't know if I. Wait, let me you have never. Uh, the chances are you've seen someone make fun of of mice of men. It is a very influential book. I've heard the name, but I've never read it. Yeah, it's uh, well, well, it's not good for spooky reading. But well, actually, if you want to see the true horror, which is of man's greed and of their ambition, then I suggest you read of mice and men. <laughs> it's a great book in that instance. But yes, they were dressed up as a mummy and a. Yes, um, I see it here. Yeah, let me see if I can find up the other Halloween prints. So, since the thing is, <laughs> Renzel barely is dressed up. Like he just wears like some 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 some, some wolf ears and some wolf claws, mm-hmm. and has a very ripped naked chest, which bursts, which literally bursts out of his his clothes. Like, like, mm-hmm. wait, let me send it to you. Like, that's pretty insane, honestly. And Luca is just eating some crepes, which makes him look like he's he's eating some some some, some plot. 
Yes, I remember this one. Yeah, the the he th- this is maybe the most beef Randall has ever looked. If I'm being 100 percent real with you, with the yes. cat ears that he's got going on. Let me put him up here. I would say that makes him pretty sp- spooky as hell. I would say. Yeah, I think he definitely fits in spooky as hell, but I think. Yeah, I think he fits here as spooky as heck. Was They're both doing enough? a pretty good spooky stuff, though. From yeah. Being with you. This was such a good Most, print, man. It is, yeah. I, I don't even remember the the effect. What did it do? Wasn't it just <laughs> like... <laughs> well, if it was back... Was, the, yeah, let me see what it does. I can look it up that. right here. I think it, 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 it reduces little... shadow damage by 10%, so nobody really cares about that. No. Um, oh, yeah. I guess it. they also had to have changed it. I forgot they did the entire thing as well, where everything was changed oh, i'm just oh. i'm just looking up like other limited event prints for halloween and like there was I, see... I think there was one of cleo but i think it was just her kind of like oh here's one i don't remember the characters in it though mm-hmm. you might know better if you look at them they're both dressed up as wolf boys yeah that's delphi and his brother we never got Delphi's brother, which really sucks. That's right. He Delphi has like this entire backstory, right? Have I ever told you about yeah. the story about how I thought Delphi was a time traveler for the longest time? No, I've, I don't think I've heard that one. Yeah, I thought Delphi was a time tra- I think eventually someone told me that, like, no, they're, they're not time traveler. I actually thought Delphi had died a long time ago <laughs> and that the version we had was some kind of time traveler. The reason is, is that you can see it here. He showed up in this event. He showed up in the with him. With yes, Oro. that's true. He, he literally Other. was just there. Yeah, same. So I was like, obviously he took. He was alive when he was alive. That's what I took yeah. it as, and I never actually pulled the character, so I didn't know. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, I would put him as he's, he's. I wouldn't even like this. In this, Delphi is such a precious boy, and he's just yeah. having fun with his brothers. So I would actually, I would actually place him at Thanksgiving because this is. This yeah, is, it's, it's no family. Spoop at all. Yes, no spoop. it's family. Yeah, like Dude. zero spoop coming from this guy, for sure. I agree with that. I'm just not feeling it in there. But he is having a gold old time here. Uh, I do have a proposition for uh, Maximum Spooky. I'm mm-hmm. going to send it to you. It's um, Catherine's Halloween print. I have several reasons for Maximum Spooky. Okay. First okay. off, that outfit is adorable. Uh, all mm-hmm. three of them are super adorable. It looks cute. I love Catherine. Um, so that personally places her really high. And then, which makes Maximum spooky, is that we never got her friends as playable characters. Oh, that's right. We never did get any of the other dudes from the <laughs> from Catherine stuff. Yeah, it was just her and Deku. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone just calls him Deku. I love that. He, lo- he looks like Deku. Honestly, I'm putting him I on mean, here for looking kind of like yes. Deku. I'm putting him under yes. Thanksgiving for the amazing <laughs> Deku costume. I mean, the character fits too. Uh, so yeah. that I, and, and on the banner, like the, my videos up there. I don't know if you've seen it. I pulled like six or seven Dekus no, straight up. No way. And I don't think sparking was available at that time and i just wanted catherine so so bad i literally just despaired i was in pain and it just hurt it's a maximum <laughs> maximum spooky for for catherine yeah i think that fits i think that tracks i will commend that reason man so many copies of one dude yeah, I, That's it's. Insane. I, I I I I could look it up, but I I'm gonna do that later. This it, it was it was a lot. Yeah, send me that so I can put it up for people for so they can see it. Let me also show this one now because now we're going on to someone else who also had a worm print, Cleo. Because yes. yes, Cleo oh, had. Yeah, this was the other uh, five star print that came with the. Uh, um. It came with year one. This is the one I wanted to get, and I didn't get this one. I got oh. the Ranzel one. <laughs> that is also it, whoops, it's which such is a kitchen. pretty design yeah mm, very okay. elegant very like well done there's some nice actual pumpkin action going on there the background's fantastic it is extreme it's actually funny how elegant they made this Halloween print look I'm trying to find the, the refined version of it I can't find it but it was it's a it's a nice one Oh yeah, that, that that is I think the uh, 
That is the refined version. Let me show you the initial one. It should be right here. I'm trying to find it, yeah. I can't. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, click on there. You should be able to find it. I'm I'm still I, I have to say this because uh my brain is not functioning at a one percent because um <laughs> uh it's 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 seven it's almost eight a.m. and I got up early and I was yeah. uh stupid and playing like a, a game until one a.m. Uh, Soul Styles I don't know if you've heard of it it's like a Devil May Cry inspired game yeah it started off really good um. But it's becoming a little bit annoying towards the end, but it's it's still a good game. Good story. And it has boobs in it, so That's always game. great. Yeah. Like like full on nudity boobs. I was super I was surprised. <laughs> but I'm yeah. uh, derailing the conversation a bit too much. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> I wanted to see where this was going. You had me going there. <laughs> uh, are there any other um Halloween prints? Yes, there be? are. There's Plunder Pals, which also came for Halloween. Oh, yes, it's true. Yes, of course. How could we forget? This is the only case that we're ever going to get a Halloween costume for Not and Karina. I believe it was Not, Karina, and Maribel were on this one. Yeah. But it wasn't really the much of a costume. Yeah, I was about to say, like, they are not really, yeah. The thing is, with this one, with this uh, Wormbrand, I always loved the initial... Uh, artwork more than the second one. Yeah, the first, I think the first artwork actually shows off a little bit more of the fact that it's Halloween because they're like oh. surrounded by like their treasure. You get a very tasteful downward look at Karina's boobs. Very nice, very well handled. You get a giant <laughs> fork, Mar <laughs> Maribel. I thought the same about Karina's boobs, but I didn't <laughs> want to say it. Don't worry, I'll say it. I don't have any shame anymore. I lost that a long time ago. I talk about Gintama and all the penis jokes in there. I can handle a boob or two. Uh, Very yeah, nicely eating a donut, too. Plunder Pulse, I remember everyone using Plunder Pulse for a long, long time because it was just a really good uh, worm print way back. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was actually back in the day. I think we can give these... Like back when we only had two, two worm prints? Yeah, we didn't have very many, <laughs> to be honest. I think... I think when it when this one released, we only had one. So the, a lot of people don't know. At the beginning of Trigella, we only had one worm print you could equip. That was insane. Yeah, but they also had two abilities on it and yeah, stuff true. like that. Yeah. And sometimes they were good abilities. Sometimes they were bad. Here's yeah. what my final decision here on here. Yes. I think Karina's not spooky because she's literally just wearing her regular <laughs> yeah. pirate outfit. But I think Maribel and Not should be into not spooky because again. I think Knot's wearing kind of like a, a second mate kind of costume with the do-rag in the second one. And Maribel has a giant fork and is wearing a kind of like uh, Halloween-themed pirate hat, which I think is great. Yes, I, I agree there. Yes, fantastic um, stuff. I would yeah. make a, a suggestion. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like the um, Monster mm -hmm. Hunter uh, uh, skins our costumes so maybe they yes. could fit in here too. I, I was gonna start saying them too but you beat me to it so oh we'll sorry up... <laughs> no it's all good we'll put up first hunter series mm -hmm. this unit i think so let me hear your purpose this unit i absolutely love this unit was what mega man should have fucking been at launch <laughs> And I'll never forgive Dragalia for taking over two years to fix Mega Man and give him the ability to run and shoot when Karina had it and was the exact next collab. <laughs> oh, true. I did, yeah, if you think about it, she's okay. I'm putting her up in Maximus movie because I was so. <laughs> there's nothing more horrifying than someone taking your gimmick and she took Mega Man's lunch and she ate it <laughs> readily. <laughs> And punched him in the face. Yeah, punched him in the face, and he did not see a play again, except for the people who always used Mega Man and were like, I don't know, I think people are underplaying Mega Man. He's okay. And it's like, no, you've deluded yourself. <laughs> he's awful. I mean, he's fun to play. They, 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 did, he is they did just did him dirty with the numbers and stuff, and that he wasn't able to shoot. And, and that he didn't get any buffs either. All his skills didn't yeah. get any buffs. They, yeah. they were like, this guy's too good. We have to nerf him just a little yeah. bit. 
Yeah, honestly, he only ran once, so I feel like he also should be uh, in super spooky because it's people just didn't get him again. Like if you weren't there, well, yeah, screw it's you. true. They never reran. I always thought they were gonna rerun him and like he would be fixed, and they never yeah. did. They also so never they never rerun the the monster hunter event, and I so oh, yeah, why that's actually maybe more spooky yeah so, so so why i I, th I think she fits into maximum spooky right away because i never got her and it's, it's I, it hurts it hurts yeah it hurts a, man he was a lot of fun to use he was the best there was a the comps back in the day because you know I some know. of my favorite comps were of course for cerise all shooting down <laughs> runilda at maximum speed and so i've heard but i cerise just eluded me i i, I don't even have gala cerise do you have, I tried uh, to summon her with my last wormite now, but mm -hmm. no. Do you no have sharpshooter? Sharp At least I have her. Yeah, there you go. That's the one on the grassy knoll. That one's cool. It's a cool Cerise. <laughs> she's got yes. a. <laughs> she's got a hat. <laughs> she does. Um, uh, but yeah, she fits in right into Maximum Spooky because I never got her. So I agree. Vanessa, how do we feel? This I think maybe. This one was my favorite costume because I didn't even realize it was Vanessa when I first saw it. I thought it was literally just the actual, because Monster Hunter, um, at the she the Monster Hunter when they go they need to do like a playable character they have like a default hunter who's female and I actually thought it was just her showing up but it wasn't it was actually just <laughs> literally a character we already had dressed up as the uh, the Kieran costume so I thought it was very well done. So I feel like spooky as hell is very fitting here for her, because again we never I, got her back. Yeah, I mean, as thankful she's the only. Oh, sorry, she's the only Monster Hunter character I got, uh, aside from the dragons, and um, I play her so much, man. Like I brought her to Zodiac so so much. She's, I think I could actually say she's one of my favorite characters to play. Her play style is amazing. Um, but she's not really spooky, so I, I agree with spooky as hell. Yeah, I think that fits. And then we have our boy here, Berserker? Is that his mm -hmm. name? Yes. I completely... I still think it was a very bold choice to pick Berserker. I think this is another costume where the prince had a Monster Hunter costume. And he never got added to... <laughs> He never became a unit. He was in the trailers, right? Where the prince had like a Monster Hunter costume. Yeah, and they he, never released uh, a unit. In the uh on a worm print, I think. He he and wasn't there someone else who had a costume? Mm. Yes, right. Um so we did have a a costume for Lin Yu and Laxi. Uh-huh. Uh, which were amazing. That's I don't right. know. Laxi. She had a great one. You just literally like woke up a part of my brain. I just remember. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really awesome. And then what's his name? Um, Eurota, Marty, and Pietro, like like the, the gang of, of, of the prince, the prince's gang. Mm -hmm. They also all appeared in Worm Prince. So, um, and they, we didn't, didn't get another, another uh, old. Um, but the prince himself, yeah, he he also had like a Rathalos armor, I think. I'm not too deep into the knowledge, mm -hmm. but it should be Rathalos, right? It should be. It was a Monster Hunter dude. I just don't remember which one. It was either him or it was the opposite of Rathalos, which is the the other dude, the dude we ended Rathian. up forming. I don't remember. Um, no, don't don't oh, quote me oh, on that. Oh. But I don't one hundred percent remember. Okay. Uh, but anyway, um, the, yeah, the, the Berserker. I, I, Berserker. I, I don't have him. I never really wanted him either. So I, 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 I don't really have any particular feelings towards Hunter Berserker, to be honest. I think Berserker actively looks more terrifying in his base form. Yes, that so is one hundred percent true. I think Thanksgiving is a pretty fitting thing here. He is, of yes. course, super limited, but he also has like a. English accent, from what I remember, he's like, it's time to hunt. So it was like, not very, you know, not very many spooky vibes for him. And he's kind of killing yeah. the spooky vibes with the voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's not doing himself any favors in that regard. All right. Another spooky guy, of course. I'm going to bring up him because we need to talk about him. Oh, yeah. Uh, a part of the whole, oh, man. This is it's so sad we never got the finish at the Outer God story. 
Yes, I like absolutely agree. I was really looking forward to seeing what they would build up to it just because of all the intrigue. We'll never know what side he was really on. We'll never know much of anything else. Of course, they pick it up, uh, snort that copium if you got it, of course. But I think he deserves somewhere on Spooky just because of how terrifying those events actually kind of are. And the the dragon stories, which we will get to them when we get to the dragons, the oh, dragon oh, stories yeah. were also terrifying. Messed up, yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel about him? I love Heinwald. I love Heinwald and his husband, Curran, and their daughter, Lafna. So, um... <laughs> In terms of story, they are extremely terrifying. Like, if you just think about what Heinwald might actually be, like some weird eldritch god, it is pretty spooky, man. But is he maximum spooky? I mean, his design is really cool. Um, I feel like if we ever got his, like, ultimate form, uh that would have been in maximum spooky. I think spooky yeah. as hell fits for what we got him the way he looks. So we, I, I, I'm going to say right now, I think they were trying to hold off of making him an alt until we got more story stuff in there. Because the others got alts. Yeah, I was um, about to say. Lafnia you said the teacher and, get an alt. Yeah, Curran got an alt. The other one got an alt where I can't find her right now. <laughs> where Lefna? is she? Lefna, yeah, where are you, Lefna? Damn. Where, like, they shouldn't she at the same be time. right next? Yeah, shouldn't she be right next to Curran? That's what I was getting angry at. I was like, you you should be right next to her. I'm pretty sure you released at the same time. How am I not able to find you? I did. No, wait. I think they actually did release Lafna later. Now that I think about it, I feel like they did release her at the later Just time. Just a little bit later? Okay, she, yeah, there, here she is. That's right. She came with the second event. Yes, uh, yeah. on Halloween actually, like she was released on October thirty first. Yeah, yes, again, like this, this was t- cl- closely tied to the Halloween stuff. Yeah, closely tied. So, Lafnia, or as yeah. uh, it was, it was I... like half a year later. Sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. I was, was gonna like say Lafnia. Year. No, no, it's Laf- Laf- Lafnia, Laf- or as I call her, uh, Abby, because it's the exact same character from Fate Grand Order. Oh, <laughs> down, down to the outer god stuff. Having blonde hair, being little girls. The only thing different is that her last name is not Abigail Williams, <laughs> and she is not a part of history. That's the only thing separating them from being anywhere. Um, I think she probably deserves to be Maximus Wookie because we actually got like uh, she has an alternate form of her dragon, right? Who? Oh. Like she has, she's a white uh, Nyarlowo. Nyarlothotep. Nyarlothotep. Yep, <laughs> something like that. Pretty sure um, that's the the correct way of saying that. The, the, the gnarly toe step, as they called it in the in the daily. <laughs> <laughs> yes, gnarly toe step. Yeah, Close and, as they uh, can get to saying them. <laughs> uh, and uh, Kurin is just he's he's not spooky. He's he's a. He's a nice man. He's he's just a dad that makes dumb jokes. He does make a lot of good dumb jokes, though. Did you did you did you read the reason why he always miss uh says, says, um, the sayings wrong and stuff like that? Do you know the reason for it? Uh, I I read it so long ago. I can't remember okay. what it is. What it's, is it? It's it, I I feel like I, if I remember it correctly, it was actually on purpose to 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 lighten up the mood and stuff. Like yes, the, it, it, I think it is something that. like that. That was really sweet. So he's he's totally Thanksgiving. He's just a good yeah. dude. He is just a really good dude. I think he fits there. Um, and yeah, I think. Let me see. Is there any other? Um, I, I guess Cassandra should should should, should go there too. Oh, if we, if we're talking about the the them. Yes, we should. We've the original bacon piece priestess. Oh no, no, I mean, I mean, uh, Cassandra, not Akasha again. Cassandra, the, the 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 girl that everyone forgets because her her mana spiral was like super overshadowed right away. You're right. I am completely forgetting Cassandra. Who, who which one is Cassandra? <laughs> she's so, she's the, the the girl the, the the old woman that looks like a a young woman because she read Naruto too much. Oh, Cassandra. Okay, not to be confused with the actual um old woman that turns into a young woman that got everyone angry. <laughs> oh, yeah, also that. Uh, what was her name? Yukimura? Uh, no, Yukimura was not. It's... Uh, I don't remember her name. 
No, no, it's something else. She doesn't belong on the spooky list. We could, yes, if we doesn't. ever made a separate list of units that made people angry, she would definitely fit on that one. Yes, absolutely. Still, uh, I yeah. still hear people crying about it. As I say, exactly. whatever, uh, man. <laughs> I mean, it would have been cool to get have like have her like like with you with Yukimura, you know, like she she's she's old in her normal form, but then she goes yeah. to Perse and is the young version. That would have been perfect. It's really yeah. sad that it do that. I agree that they probably should have done some uh, old to young mechanic, but also I refuse to look at her. And then someone says, "Oh man, just another one of these." Fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You got a smoking hot chick with a gun here, and you're gonna tell me that you're gonna foam your nose at it because she doesn't turn into an old woman first? <laughs> I mean, the, the reason was because we didn't have a badass old woman. Like, we had no. like one or two badass old dudes, but never a badass old woman. So, I get the critique in itself, but. They should have um, been an old lady. I agree I, with I that. I also do not mind an attractive lady. Yes, so, that's another uh, thing. Yeah. Maybe if I did not find her attractive, it'd be a different story. Um, and I do agree that there should have been an old lady there, of course. Um, but also, come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. We can put her in Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's right, Cassandra. Yeah. Eventually, you got uh, Yukata. You got uh, the uh, the other version. Kind of got her time in the sun with with her spiral. Yes. When everyone used her fish, never really her, but they did use her fish. Yeah, I mean, she, I, I I like playing her. Um, and I. Something about her art is still looking weird to me. I don't know if it's just a perspective, um, but I love playing her, and she just gives off huge mommy vibes. Uh, I gotta say that. I cannot. Do um, that. But she's not really. I mean, her story, of course, she's super spooky when it comes to like story reasons. Like she, she's extremely intelligent and knows nothing scarier than that. Person. Yeah. <laughs> Smart yes. woman? Oh my god. <laughs> Lock her up. Murder. Witch. Unbelievable. That's not what I was going for, but yes. Alright, let, uh, <laughs> let me back uh, down then. <laughs> I'm also uh, kidding. Please don't hate me. <laughs> um, Shout out to the smart women out there. Say? Yeah, uh, I forgot what I was about to say. Yeah, she also <laughs> is the only one who knows about Audric, I think. So, yeah, I she, think she, 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 she's, she's a little bit spooky. A little mm. bit. Yeah, alright. I would I think... replace her at, 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 at spooky as heck. Spooky as heck? Alright. Mm -hmm. I think that fits. Alright, okay. this is what our list here. Do you think of anyone else before we move on? Do you want to add the Persona dudes because they are collab units that everyone blames for a Persona for Dragalia dying? <laughs> of course! I mean, no, I'm gonna put why, Joker. why would we add it? Why not? Joker, Joker is maximum spooky simply because he is so much fun to play. <laughs> Um, I really I like the Persona units as well. I, I, I know that everyone hates me probably for my summoning sessions on the Persona banners because I got pretty lucky. I think I got on in like 10 to 20 summons. So, uh, Jesus, that is lucky. <laughs> I got super lucky. I, I feel like, was it before or after they introduced Sparks? I want to say after, it is... Right? Uh, no, it was when they introduced it. Oh, okay. I remember because I had to spark Morgana and I had to spark Anne... And that was the day officially my luck died because it was uh, no longer a. Because um, before sure then, I was... I was like pulling dudes like one <laughs> ticket, doing like a three minute video saying, hello, everyone. I'm Loki. <laughs> support the video, support the channel. Let's get into which regalia lost. Now, here's my feelings. And I pulled them. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, I, I, I do remember watching those videos and being like, Oof, this, this, mm, it hurts just watching. Yeah, no, I did it for a year, where it was, like, pulling dudes with, like, a single multi, and when everyone else was saying, save, keep saving for everything, I, I was doing, like, Mars single tickets, and uh, Galileo, and very little. I think Galileo, oh, Galileo been, yeah. Yeah, I was... Galileo was fun. Yeah, I was, I was uh, pulling shit like crazy, but then when Persona showed up, that's when my luck died, Oof. because they introduced the, the pity system. Like, and, right when you needed it. Yeah, it was unfortunate. I think it was also because Ilya was, I think, the first pity unit. Yes, right. Yeah, could be. I had, I had to pity her, and out of pure anger, I never used her. Oh, she's so much fun to play, though. Yeah, I heard, it and then I was never able to fix her stuff, though. Yeah, and I also was never able to get snowboarder uh, version oh, of her either. Oh, that also sucks. They yeah. were both so much fun. Damn shame. 
But uh, the, can you think of any other units to be put up here for the specifically just the uh, playable characters for a spooky list? Um, I mean, if we're going with it, can we just just for good measure put uh, Valentine's Chelsea onto Thanksgiving? Oh yes, I, I completely <laughs> forgot. We need to put Valentine's Chelsea on here. <laughs> I mean, or I can't. I, just Where just because like, it's my whole persona on 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 YouTube, like loving Chelsea. <laughs> No, you're right. She deserves to be on here. Even though I think Valentine's Chelsea has a lot of backstory that makes her maybe a little bit less terrifying. She's still very intense. Yes, she's... I mean, I, I just love the fact that she, in a Casa story, literally scared death away. Um, I find that extremely funny. <laughs> so, That's uh, she's, she's cool. She's cool. Um, I'm really sad that I'm not going to be able to carry my Ch Chelsea propaganda further in the future. Uh, but that's yeah. just how things are, I guess. That's just the way it's going to be, unfortunately. Where the hell are you, woman? I, uh, I cannot Valentine find... Chelsea you. is... She should be... I, I saw her. I mean, I see normal Chelsea. But... I mean... It... This right oh, here. Nadine, is, Nadine is amazing. Yeah, just use normal Chelsea. That's fine. Is that normal Chelsea? That's normal Chelsea, yeah. Uh, Valentine's Chelsea is um a a wind character unit, right here. There she is. Yeah, I'm putting both on here. Ah, oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. And with that, we are free to move on to the dragons. But just to do a, we'll do actually a quick list at the end. But let's move on to the dragons. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Halloween dragon specifically, we've got um everyone's favorite because they forget it. No, this that's is not the silk. Yeah, that's not normal silk. Yeah, I need to find the actual silk. The whole she should be far. She's 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 right there over, above your your cursor, um, like next to Cerberus and um, Leviathan. She's sandwiched in between on the left now. There yeah, there. Is. I always liked uh the idea of Halloween silk, but I really wish she was actually good. <laughs> yeah. They had made her a five star, maybe. That would have been amazing. She's the only collab dragon that's a four star. Mm -hmm. All the rest of them afterwards were uh, five. They learned their lesson. <laughs> they absolutely did. Um, I would actually put her maximum spooky because of her original story. Have you read her original dragon story? What she does to people? Because mm -hmm. she's lonely? Does she take them? She she takes them and turns them into, into, into puppets, basically. Okay, I don't remember the puppet part. I did remember her taking people... <laughs> Yeah, like, she, like because she's lonely and wants friends, and she like turns them into dolls that stand around or something like that. And I don't remember if if she keeps them alive or if they are dead. Um, but I remember it being messed up. All right, that's fair enough. I think she deserves to be on there then. Maximum spooky. Yes, yes, absolutely. She's she's terrifying. She looks super cute, uh, but she's taps absolutely terrifying. Now let's talk about the ultimate terrifying, a five-star limited dragon that actually ends up being kind of useful for water and then only shows up like two times a year. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was he was pretty useful. Yeah, Halloween um, Martimus. And he's cute. He's adorable. He's very cute. In terms of the spookiness, um, he's not very spooky. No, I he's absolutely not spooky. Like, he's Thanksgiving levels of not spooky, in my opinion. Yeah. He's. Uh, I look at him, I want to flu of him, but he's not spooky. No, not spooky at all. But I think his banner and the way it treated me over the years <laughs> <'cause I was laughs> okay. it deserves him to be as spooky as heck. He's the okay. only unit that like I had to wait until I think the pity system had been introduced to actually pull him. Because I was Oof. never able to get him until that exact moment. I was able to get Halloween Mim, which is what I cared about at the moment. But I was never able to actually get him until it, uh, way past the point where it would have been useful to have him. I'll say that much. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, he, there was a time when he wasn't as useful anymore, that's true. No, and then until until you showed up. You. <laughs> yes, the game-breaking bunny. <laughs> of all the thing, of all these the, the cool dragons that you see here, the ones that broke the game, it's this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bunnies. It is always the bunnies. Okay, let's see, where is the next Halloween one? Because I know it's here somewhere. Do we have more Halloween dragons? I'm just like... Yeah, there was a third one, I want to say, that was included. Was it like a Halloween? 
outfit or was it just someone that appeared on Halloween? I am. You might be right. That might have been. Um, they might have switched to only two units right afterwards, and they stopped doing Halloween dragons. Yeah, I think Martinus yeah. might have actually been the last one. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. They probably had someone on the set. You know, because on the the banner with Akasha and uh, what's her face, Melsa, it was mm-hmm. a Galad Fragalia, and I don't think <gasps> that's right. I mean, there was another. There was probably another dragon, but it wasn't like a Halloween dragon. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now we can get into some uh, some dragons that have maybe done some messed up things in their life. Starting with this man right here, who should automatically go into maximum spooky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because I think it's one of the very few Dragalia stories that is literally just non-stop murder from beginning to end. <laughs> yes. Hastur is also pretty spooky. Yeah, Hastur, um, like, he's also based off of the Eldric, Eldric uh Yeah, Eldric but God. he's not as spooky as, as, as Gnarly Toaster, but uh, I would say spooky as hell, yeah. Yeah, I think that fits for him for sure. But um, yeah. You should really read this story before it goes away. It really goes in places. It's a uh, crazy you know, story. A lot of Toast is, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was the first one where I was like, okay, I guess he's just evil, and we use him. I mean, thankfully, all of the, 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 the stories are on the um, on the wiki as far mm-hmm. as long as it exists. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but yeah, it is messed up. Yeah. It is absolutely messed up. I'm also going to include him and then put him in Thanksgiving, just because the story was all about how spooky he was, but it turns out he was a very good guy. Yeah, I, get, I agree. Pretty, yeah, I think it's fitting to put him here. And he also yeah. wants to wants to do the deed with the with a with a human girl, so that's also Who weird. Wouldn't? Am I right? <laughs> he's she really is, speaking for all of us. I mean, she's what? Who was it? What was it? Felicia, she's a bunny right? Girl. Felicia's she's, cute. Dude, yeah, yeah, Felicia, who's only shown up like three times in the history yeah. of the game or something. I think I actually made a video. It was like, will Felicia show up before the game ends? Because I don't think she's had a rerun in a very long time. And I think the next thing they announced was that Felicia was coming back. <laughs> Yeah, Felicia's cute. Yeah, Felicia is cute. Understandable why he would want to be with her. I also think she's a bunny Absolutely. girl and not a... Uh, the what is, it, what is the bunny race called? Uh, Sylvan, yes, she's a Sylvan. Sylvan she's not a yes. human. Yeah. We have to make sure they're correct. Now, let's see. Unfortunately, I was going to put him on here if he was on here, but he's not. It's the Agido, who is Cayenne. I was going to put him up here for Maximum oh. Spooky because of his racism, but yes. he's not here. <laughs> We never got him. Yeah, that's true. There was no way they were ever going to give us Cayenne. <laughs> there was no way they were ever going to give us the... I would have, I, it would have been interesting to see if he would be a playable character or a dragon. Um, he does he's look the, cool in his dragon form, though. He's, he's the only one whose win quote is, I don't believe the race should mix. And then you do a close-up of his tiny little <laughs> spooky <laughs> form of him. Oh, God. I mean... The, the... He, of course he didn't appear in the game because we also never got his husband Pietro, who also was a racist asshole. <laughs> Hard to tell. Hard there was uh, there was a lot of story going on. There was a lot of story going on that we're probably never gonna know for all of it, but there was yeah. a lot of racism going on. It would have been funny if like Pietro and him would have been on one banner. That would have been I think I would have <laughs> legit died from laughter if that happened. The racism banner. <laughs> Finally, racism has been introduced to Dragalia Lost. I, I, yeah, Mom! Oh, why are you so happy, my son? I summoned the racist man in a gacha game. Dun 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 we're drifting off. Yeah, we're drifting off. In terms of the next spooky, we we can speak about one of the Agido, which is Volk here. The man too angry to die. The man who hates uh, hates Wall Street and doesn't believe in it. Says we should burn all the money. Um, I can't put him in Spooky because I, I, I'm pretty sure you finished the game, right? The mm-hmm, story? Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. way he saved Renval and sacrificed himself? I'm sorry. I, he's, I'm, I, I, I cannot be mad at him anymore. I can't. Mm-hmm. Volk is my favorite. I would place him in not Spooky. He's, it's just because I love him so much. Mm. Mm-hmm. Fair, fair, fair. Very I mean, fair thing to do here. We can put him in not spooky. Atrocious things, but uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I can I? Oh, I have a request. Can we put Sheila on maximum spooky because she literally committed war crimes and never had to pay for it? <laughs> Which one is Sheila? 
Mila is the daughter of Gartov. I mean, this, uh, one of the characters, not not the dragon. Oh, just... oh, that's right. The she, she, she would be, be this one, there. right? Yeah, exactly. Katana's I mean, I love daughter. her design and all. I'm I'm a sucker for her, but she literally committed war crimes, so she needs to be put on maximum spooky. No, that's fair. Okay. There's nothing scarier than a war criminal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm back totally, to dragons. Sorry. We go back to back to the dragons. Uh, you can put up here. Burr, she's the also the other other Aikido. I'm not gonna put the twins up there because the twins aren't scary. They're just kind of <laughs> dumb dumbs. <laughs> I mean, they're mass criminal murder dumb dumbs, but I agree. Yeah, yeah. They're they're kind. Of, they always remind me of the twin ghost from Luigi's Mansion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout outs to Luigi's I, Mansion and that one monster. Yes, I, can, I can't refute that. So yeah, yeah. There you yeah, go. If you, if you know, you know. Uh, but where do you feel she fits here? Bird woman. They had to censor her boobies in the trailer, so she's spooky as hell. <laughs> they did have to do that. That's right. <laughs> they did. That was How insane. Is... That is insane. She was showing a lot. Even though she's not the biggest, I think it goes to probably her. She was very calm. Or oh yeah, she had. She has. She was. She's literally a stronger. cow goddess, isn't she? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she, she, yeah. When it comes to booby size, she was the biggest, yeah, I think. Yeah. After where the, the, obviously, this is a separate list, but if we were going to compare them, probably this one would be up there. Uh, by sheer metric size, because literally they're dragons, so <laughs> any of them that are humanoid would fit on here. I never considered that I could literally sleep on a dragon woman's press, probably. Well, that's, that's the difference between me and you. That's a thought well, I just had. So I'm thinking the big game picture here. Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky uh-huh. stuff. I remember. Um, Elysium needs to be on there. Oh, uh, it's pretty spooky. Simply because of his backstory. Their backstory. Let me see. Let me see. Where um, is Elysium? Right like, here. Right there, yeah. Like Elysium. Elysium had to watch everyone die over and over again until it turned him crazy. Yeah. Spooky as hell. So, that's... Yes. Um, I'm putting him on here because of his crimes and also because he kind of reminds me of Frieza. Putting him spooky as heck. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he he, he was a, a good combo of a, a Dio and Frieza. Mm-hmm. He was basically the two of them combined. That's why I like them so much. I like that boss <laughs> fight so much. It is amazing. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we're and... good here. I don't consider the Monster Hunter dude scary. They're no. literally just trying to live their life. Um, I would actually say, um, Epithemius, right? He is the, the, the emo boy. This one. He, uh, no, that's Azazel. Um, mm. Epithemius, uh, I mean, I'm not going to put Epithemius on the list, but his brother, like the, the, the monster energy boy. Oh, yes, the monster energy, because, yeah, the one from the story, him. Exactly, because Epithemius only was emo because of him, if I remember correctly. Like, they bullied him, and he was extremely... He was even more awful. Okay. You know what? I will and, create. And also, monster energy is bad for your health, so... Uh, that doesn't stop me from drinking it, but... I'm creating a monster energy tier just for him. Monster. <laughs> Huge monster energy. <laughs> okay, good pun. Good pun. There you go. Okay, I mean, that perfect. fits... Yeah, that that, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, I think we're good here. So for the dragons, for maximum spooky, we've got uh, Silk in her Halloween costume. We've got oh. gnarly, gnarly toe step oh. as maximum spooky. Next oh. as spooky as hell, we have Haster. We have censored boobs, and then we have Elysium. <laughs> the three, the three piece combo of anything. <laughs> in the tier below, we have huge monster energy drink with how do you say his name? Uh, you were literally just Minicious. saying it a whole bunch. Minicious, 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 yeah, I think. Minicious, let's go with that. I think I said Atlas earlier, but no, Minicious. We never it's got a, Atlas. It's a, it's a Greek name. That's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> Next, under spooky as heck, we have Halloween Martimus doing his best uh to spook <laughs> to never actually spook me on a banner and actively avoid me for years. We've got Gallic Chronos. With his hello there Mario energy that he's got going on here and spooky as heck. <laughs> that is true, yeah. 
He looks like he's like someone who leans in and says, hello, Mario. <laughs> That's the he, guy. He does. He does. And then he spits in your face. <laughs> mm-hmm. Next under not spooky, we've got Volk, Wolf Boy. Redeemed, though. A redeemed, redeemed Wolf Boy. And then under Thanksgiving, we've got our boy who wants nothing more than the love of a buddy girl. Which is, is that so wrong? Is that illegal? No, Maybe it's in... not. Phantom is his name, I think. It should yeah. be Phantom. Phantom, yeah. Maybe in uh, Cayenne's America, but not in Wokey's America. <laughs> yes. And next, for our adventures under Maximum Spooky, we've got Halloween Laxi, we've got Halloween Ellie, we've got Halloween Edward, we've got Catherine, we have Monster Hunter Cerise, we've got Mega the Man, we got uh, <laughs> Lafnia, we got Looking Cool Joker, and then we got, I think it's only fitting for you to say her name. Oh, uh, Valentine's Chelsea and Normal mm-hmm. Chelsea. Mm-hmm. And also the war criminal daughter, <laughs> all under Maximum Spooky. <laughs> under Spooky as hell, we have Halloween Mim, we have Halloween Prince, the, the, the one we were denied. The one that got, got away. The one that got away. <laughs> We got Halloween Poison Debuff. <laughs> the, the... Fitting, yeah. Very fitting. Halloween Man Meat Branzel, and spooky as hell as well. Uh, Monster Hunter Vanessa, and then I forget. I was gonna call him the I... the far, the, far, the harm, harmacist because he de- deals harm and heals <laughs> at the same time. Yes, I'm a healer, but um, uh, Heinwald. Yes. Yes, Heinwald. Then under Spooky as heck, we have Halloween Lowen, followed up by Halloween Bro of <laughs> Silas, followed by <laughs> Silas, following by the Halloween Wormprint version of Cleo, and followed by the old woman that time forgot, as most people forgot as well, as I could yes. not remember her name at this exact you, moment. You literally forgot to put her in, and wanted to crab another character. Yes, <laughs> so, I assumed hey. you were talking about someone else, it was the only way it was going. Uh huh, and then yeah, 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 and then we've got uh Halloween Althemia, Althemia, oh, yeah, of course. Halloween Sorry, Althemia. I punched my head. No, it's yes. all good. Then we've got Halloween Bacon Priestess, mm-hmm. and then followed up by the pirate duo over here with uh, Maribel and Gallic. <laughs> well, I guess at this point she was just a, like regular knot and not. Mm-hmm. And- the uh, gallant version of not and then on thanksgiving we've got the bone master in his not very spooky costume delphi we've got deku <laughs> doing his best cosplay <laughs> as what's his actual name his name's not deku but um i'm trying a blank okay we're gonna go with deku, um then. yeah it's deku i'm it was something with with e oh no i have to it's it's go- continue. I'm gonna look it up. It's gonna annoy <laughs> me if I don't know this. Arena for her Thanksgiving costume of literally just eating a donut. <laughs> Monster Hunter Berserker, who is just here in a less spooky armor, and Corinne, who's just here to tell us a good old pun, and that's it. And yeah. that is our spooky tier list for the two of them. Man. Eugene. Eugene is his name. God, it's not really a good fantasy name now, is it? No, let's let's continue. It's stay, stick with Deku here. Yeah. yeah, that's our list. I think it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, pretty solid. If you have any specific uh, feelings about the list, and you can always leave them down below. Feel free to talk about anything Dragalia related mm-hmm. or Halloween related. And I want to stay... maybe we, maybe we forgot someone. Yeah, yeah, maybe we forgot that. We feel like you got to If you want to make your case, feel free to tell us your case about it. We will gladly listen, but thank you very much for my guest here today for joining me. Thanks for, for having me. Times. Yes, this ended up being much longer than I thought it was going to be, but I was having too much fun. <laughs> yeah, like it's making tier lists is fun. Mm-hmm. That's why I uh, haven't done it because I think if I make a tier list, uh, it's going to take five hours. Whatever. Yeah, it is. I like making them too, but I only like making them for silly things. <laughs> When you get yes, into serious yeah. things, then it turns into a fight that I'm not <laughs> in the mood to go for. Absolutely agree. Mm. But I want to thank you very much for joining me. Will be one other video featuring you, hopefully, if mm-hmm. things go correctly. Yes. So you'll see more of them here, as I forgot in the one-hour span how to say your last thing. Wait, uh, no, wait. Quitta. 
<laughs> yes. Mm, got it. It's okay. It's, I... it's 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 a weird, like I said, a weird German name for 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 quince actually. If 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 if, if anyone uh, wants to know. Yeah, so, so yeah. German, N- not my first language. <laughs> barely English is barely my language. <laughs> so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining me for Thirteen Nights of Halloween. And thank you yes. very much for talking some Dragalia with me. Yes, I love I love talking Dragalia. I, I wouldn't stop doing it. Mm-hmm. And you should always carry that spirit on. So yes. now we're going to end the video in the way I end videos, which is badly. Actually, if people want to find you, where <laughs> should they find you? <laughs> um, I'm. Um, you can find me uh, on Twitter at Gaming Quitter. Um, on Twitch, Gaming Quitter. Uh, actually, uh, I'm gonna plug it because I've been doing content there uh, on TikTok. Actually, it's just Quitter G. Um, I've been posting banger TikToks after banger pick TikToks, and I'm on YouTube, mm. Gaming Quitter. There you go. You'll find him there. You'll see You'll see him again later on in 13 Nights. But for now, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Man. There you go. Man, I'm so used to Zen, who never says goodbye until I say, say yes, goodbye, Zen. I, yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.